I'm Bruce. I work with Unite for the Environment. Unite is a program of the North Carolina Zoo and operate in Vigodi, Uganda. Uh, Unite operates around Kiwali National Park, and Kiwali National Park is one of the important biodiversity hotspots. Uh, in this park, we do have so many uh, species of wildlife, including chimpanzees, elephants, and many others. We train teachers, and through these trainings, we promote sustainable living in communities around this park. Today, we are going to look at how we can build a traditional beehive. Uh, when building a beehive, the first step is to collect materials, and the materials you need for a beehive include twigs, um, such as this, and then you also need um, uh, something like bamboo reeds or anything soft which can be used to weave around the hive. Uh, you need banana fibers. The banana fibers will be used later in making the, uh, the cover, and then you also need um, wood ash. Wood ash is mixed with cow dung and that makes um, you use that to make uh, the, the final touch on the behind um, importantly you also need a mold the mold has to be saturated in form and it has to be with um, a diameter of at least 1 to 1.5 feet uh, it's from that mold that you erect uh, the behind later on as we're going to see a few tools you may need include the panga or a knife which is used for modifying uh, some of the items we looked at. The second step is now preparing the materials and this includes mixing cow dung with wood ash uh, so that you get a complete mixture uh, which will be used now to smear the beehive. Uh, it also includes sharpening the twigs because um, when, you're com when you're building the hive they have to be sharp enough to be inserted into the ground. Then um, it also includes splitting the bamboo or something else which you are going to use. Uh, that has to be splitted in such a way so that you can weave it around the twigs. Once that is done, then um, you are ready now for the next step. The third step is now building the beehive and this starts with uh, inserting the twigs around the mold. Uh, when inserting the twigs, they have to be inserted in uh, a conical shape and also the twigs have to be an odd number. The reason why we do an odd number is to ensure a perfect weave uh, so that the hive is strong enough. So once the twigs are inserted around the mold, we now get the bamboo pieces that we cut earlier and then the weaving starts. So we start the weaving until when the twigs are all covered with the bamboo pieces.
So once the weaving of the main uh, structure is complete, then we get two twigs which are um, weaved and that is to make the top part of the beehive. Uh, that is done separately and once it is complete, then it is inserted onto the main uh, beehive. Now most of the weaving is complete, we are now going to smear our traditional beehive with the mixture we made earlier of um, cow dung and wood ash. The smearing is one of the semi-final stages. So during the smearing, we also inserted uh, two twigs to create pathways for the bees. And the hive has been out drying for a week. So now we are going to remove the twigs. And you can see clearly the pathways for the bees where they will be entering and exiting. So now we are going to make the bottom cover. We use the same bamboo materials and then the mold uh, to have the shape of the bottom cover and then uh, the coil we make we wrap banana fibers around it so once the whole coil is wrapped as you can see Then uh, it is going to be inserted at the bottom of the traditional beehive. Okay. So we are on the final part of our traditional beehive and now have to insert uh, the bottom cover. And once that is done, once we insert the bottom cover, then uh, our traditional beehive is now ready to be set. Yeah.